welcome to Jellyfish 101. This is Sylvan reporting in. And today we're going to talk about jellyfish, but not just one jellyfish, a very special jellyfish. Now come over here. Okay. Hey, now I'm, this, this is Foxy. Hello. Now, I'm the fastest around the Wild West. <laughs> okay, be quiet now, Foxy. And... Let's go check out Fox's drawing. And, and here we go. The cannonball jellyfish. Um, you can't see it very well. Here, one moment, sirs. Do, 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 do. I need to do something real quick. How do you turn it around? Uh, let's see here. This is, uh, that's a singer, I think. So we're gonna just, Lift this up for you, and then pull it back, and behold, the cannonball jellyfish. The cannonball jellyfish is a jellyfish native to the waters around Florida <coughs> and the Atlantic Ocean. They are often found stuck in mud puddles when the tide goes out in Florida. They are called the cannonball jellyfish because they resemble the same size and shape of, the, of a cannonball. And here's our new doggo, Odie. Oh yeah, this is Odie. Hi, Odie. Say hi to the audience. They say hi. He says sniff, sniff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Sylvan. Well, they are a large jellyfish the size of a cannonball, also called the cabbage head jellyfish. They are red on the bell and yellower, yellower near the tentacles. I'll try and show you a picture right here. Now... Now that that's settled, let's get to explaining the history. The cannonball jellyfish was discovered in 1997, <clears throat> making it a relatively new species of jellyfish that has been discovered. They are very common. They feed on mostly plankton. And if you want to see one, you should head to Florida on a in at low tide. This happens two times a day. They eat for around six hours. Now, now, Fox is going to explain how to draw a cannonball jellyfish. So let's go get it to him and a new piece of paper. Yes, in, the, in future videos, we're going to explain how to draw the jellyfish. Okay? Foxy? Okay. We're going to need two pieces of paper. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to need two pieces of paper. Or just one if you want to. You could draw it upsides, but then you would have to draw it gliding through the water. We're going to draw it stuck in the mud. First, we need to draw this, followed by an upward curve. If you're at a few bumps. If you're at home, try and follow his movements. You can pause the video if necessary. And then you can draw another bit, and then two tentacles on the side. Try and make the tentacles like all bunched up because they're more bunched up. You can scribble in a little to make it look like they're more bunched up. Then we're going to draw the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're often found stuck in mud puddles in Florida. So now we're going to draw a line that goes along the bottom of the jellyfish. Now we're going to go back on the page and make the tentacles stuck in a mountain of dirt. You don't have Time to... for the colors, baby. You don't have to color if you don't want to. Oh, wait, you forgot to add the clouds. Oh, yeah. Clouds. Dirty, stupid, rotten clouds. Colors. You don't... Again, this is optional. Do, 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 do. Where's the brown? I need the color of shit. Anyway... <laughs> hey, this is a YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, stop, stop. We're gonna we're gonna speed through the coloring part. Where's the bra? So 
So there we go. Oh, that is the cannonball jellyfish. Well, I thought I'd give you an update on how the beta fish are doing. Squid, hey, squid, squid, where are you? But there you are. He's much more blue, as you can see. And here's the newest addition. This is Sunbeam. Can you Moving. see him? There he is. Hi, Sunbeam. He wants food. Yes, he does. Yeah, he now, Fox is going to wrap up the video. <laughs> with the dance. <laughs> He's very violent. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to Jellyfish 101. Hey, hey. <laughs> It's free and it helps out a ton. Thank you and goodbye.